you're connecting with something here. There's passion that's in your life and that's your focus. That's what you're following, whether it's romantic or not. You're attracted to something and that's where your energy is going towards. You got someone here as well, sneaky in the back that can see what's going on, see what you're up to. Just I always have to feel like I, may, I have to make a note of that with this particular lover's card. General side, you're waiting for someone. This is the three of wands, the, I believe this is the knight, the knight of cups and the uh, knight of wands. But either way, I'm getting the same thing. It was a page uh, of relatively new deck that I love. Anyway, you're looking forward to waiting for some messages to come towards you. You're anticipating them. You're like, where are these people? Why haven't they reached out to me just yet? But it's coming. This guy has something to say and share, and he's about to like unleash it. And as is this person here. And you could be doing this as well. You could be communicating something important here. And what's interesting is that with this particular wants energy. I don't get that fiery side, even though he's holding the uh, torch there. Doesn't feel as exciting as I'm normally used to. If anything, it seems like he is coming to some sort of realization or seeing something that's happening at night in the dark that's kind of being illuminated. That's what's coming through. And it could be through messages that that happens. Now, the love side Someone's very dreamy. You could be really hoping for something to come your way. You have a strong feeling about another person, relationship, or if you're single, maybe it's just like you really, really, really want to be in a relationship till this to this energy where she's kind of like in that prayer mode, hoping that something she wants happens. For the most part, there's a vibe here of wanting to hear from someone. Wanting them to reach out, do something for you, maybe get you something in particular. You're like, I hope that this is what they get me. It is the holiday season for some, so maybe you're like anticipating that you'll get exactly what you're hoping for from that person. Because this is a card of value too. And here with the Nine of Wands, we have this as the outcome card. She, hmm, she doesn't really know where she's going. She doesn't know where the relationship is going. So whether you're male or female, you may not feel like you know exactly what's happening or you're kind of cautious about what's going on. You may not be very open as well with your partner. So for instance, if you're expecting them to do something and you're upset they don't do it, or you want them to get you a particular thing, you're not telling them that's the case, you're just hoping that it happens. At the same time, it's just that she's cautious. She's just like, where am I? What's happening here? And if you're single, as I said, I feel like you wanna connect with someone. You wanna have something that's stable, consistent, someone that you can talk to every day. But in this card with the outcome, she hasn't found anyone yet, which I know it feels terrible to say, but she's looking. And you're, I feel like you're looking. You're looking for that person who's going to connect and you'll feel at ease with, that you want to spend more time with. So that could indicate that you're going to go out there and make the effort to at least meet someone. And that's what you want, lovers. Ten of Pentacles. Focus could be on family foundations, establishing that your career as well and uh, following your passions towards a new career is a possibility. Or something bringing about more money, which gives you that satisfaction. New home. Otherwise, there's again that there is secret affair uh, energy coming in here as well. It's not really there too much. You may just want that passion in your life. And to have that as part of the foundation for your relationship. Otherwise, your career being your passion is your thing for the week. Could be getting the home that you love too is your focus. All right, let's get one for the general. I feel like, yeah, someone's trying to find out the truth. I can't really tell what they're doing, but... 
someone's up to no good someone's looking for some information more than likely you i think even this card is quite illuminating bringing things to light she's seeking here and waiting for answers so you're looking for solutions or to find answers to whatever's going on because maybe there has been some deception This could be very deceptive energy. The devil is also here. And you could be like really, really intent on finding out what's going on. Like you will not sleep until you know the answers of what's happening. All right, so. Love sight. Well, this represents the possibility of messages of love coming your way. And it's inviting here. But you're still erring on the side of caution. Why the Nine of Wands? You're afraid of being disappointed. Whether you're in a relationship or single and connecting with someone, you're afraid of them disappointing you in some way. You're afraid of those feelings of regret, sadness, you know, like dealing with breakups or dealing with some disappointment that the person brings you. You're afraid of that. If you're in a relationship and this is like a focus on a gift that you really want, you could be afraid of like opening it and being like very depressed over the fact that they didn't get you what you expected. One more overall. But you have quite a bit of emotions that you will express. And you will unleash. And I think this is beautiful in a way. I feel like this is this is a nice energy, not like the, the Ace of Cups can sometimes represent the overflow of emotions in either sadness or happiness. But I think that you're overly cautious because you don't want to be disappointed and you're afraid to be disappointed but it ended up working out well. And for some that are single, there's a possibility of new love here and connecting on that level and just going with it and realizing you do have feelings for someone. And if you're in a relationship, you may find that you get what you want and it does bring emotional fulfillment. And maybe you have that, um, that overwhelming sense of affection that you wanna to bring towards your partner. What is the deception on that side? Well, in some cases, maybe you've gotten what you wanted and it wasn't in the best way that it's been received with the Five of Swords. But it's like, and by all means necessary. Focus, Queen of Wands. You got someone on your mind. Some of you have um, objectives that you want to partake in and you're going for it. You're taking that wand or you're going to get it done. So I see the Queen of Wands as a goal-oriented person. They've got their mission and they're very active, outgoing personalities for the most part. So that could definitely be you. You could find yourself having a very active week, um, being in a position of power as well to delegate. She's one of the queens who would be the best, I think, at delegating. Um, and there's still something mysterious about her too with the, the black cat there. Now, as I said, this could be the energy that you're dealing with. We do also have the Queen of Cups. And even the Nine of Pentacles brings some feminine connections here. So could be dealings with friends or just females or um, more feminine men as a possibility. Now, on the general side, we have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers with the Ten of Pentacles as an outcome card. It's very nice. Now, this almost feels like Either someone is taking care of you sexually here. This is this is sexual. <laughs> so the other lover's version could be other things potentially, uh, like choice or whatever. But there's something. There's that heated passion there. It's sneaky. It's forbidden. Maybe you're not supposed to do it or engage in it, but you feel good about it. And there's an emotional connection there as well with this Queen of Cups. And the outcome card, you feel, again, wealthy in some way. It doesn't have to necessarily be financially wealthy. 
you feel like you have something important of value and you've reached a pinnacle for yourself. This could be your your focus could be love, which is weird because it's always weird when the general somehow is more romantically inclined than the love side. This could be something that's going on on the side that's, you know, giving you what you want. You've got the possibility for family here or a strong foundation that you desire, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to go back and say that maybe, 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 if you're really not interested in love, this could be some sort of strong reward in terms of work or money. You could be getting an inheritance or whatever, and it allows you some sort of freedom. I just see the bliss in her face. Um, <laughs> it's so sexual, but I'm just saying that could be a possibility. Love life. We have the Nine of Wands, Death, and the Nine of Pentacles here. And this speaks of thinking about being single, honestly. And if you're single, you're like, I, I don't mind staying single for a little bit longer. Because the Nine of Wands, you know, have been through it already. They're tired. They're like, oh, I've got one wand of energy left. Or I really want to invest time. Death's like, no, not really. I don't. And if you're in a relationship, Death's kind of like, you know what? This relationship has been tiring. Maybe cut it off. Maybe end it. And be single and feel fantastic. Not that I'm encouraging. I'm not trying to encourage, but the Nine of Pentacles is a card that feels great with what they have. She's independent. She's not like questioning being alone. She feels like she's well taken care of on her own and she enjoys life. So maybe you're thinking about the fun that you can have being single because your relationship feels like it's bogging you down. In some cases, maybe you have a sexual connection that's sufficient and um, the commitment isn't necessary for you. Strange one, <laughs> feels. Let's, oh, someone wants to turn over the fool. Well, you're interested in doing something that some may view as risky or and taking a chance here. I mean, there's an alligator here waiting with mouth open for you to put your foot into it. So there's a chance of, you know, injuring yourself along the way. But I quite like the fool. The fool wants to do something new, start over and not give a shit. It's like, alligators, oh, they're fine. It's all right. I'll get lucky. You'll miss me. You'll miss me. It's fine. So... Um, <laughs> I think that the intention to do something out of the norm for you is also something you may want, especially with this uh, fire energy that I feel in these two. Queen of Wands. Temperance. Well, you are being patient. You're not rushing into anything, even though I feel like you want to. You're taking your time and getting, getting some emotional balance. General. Magician. You are basically making what you want to happen, happen. You know that you can do it, so you will. It's pretty much as easy as that. Magician is quite powerful. Again, he has all the tools he needs, very competent energy, and is coming through here in the reward of the Ten of Pentacles. And that could definitely be career. Even more so, Three of Pentacles, someone's graduated here. They've done everything correctly. They're, they're uh, found the right mix with temperance there and even with this happening here. And onwards to the next stage, it's a bit of a level up. You know what you're capable of. Some of you could be studying something new that will open a new door for you. Or you've just increased the skills that you currently have. I'm getting recognition for those skills too. You can have a real strong passion for something that you do. Love. Six of Cups. For some, again, it's like if you're in a relationship, it's kind of like going back to a stage where you were single and having fun, not caring about obligations, responsibilities, and you know having to take care of someone in some way. This is much more relaxing. It's like fantasy land and, again, carefree which is kind of the vibe that I feel you want to be. And if you do want a relationship, it could be, if you do want a relationship and you're currently in one, I feel like your, your current one is not giving you what you want. It's not as relaxing as you wish it would be. It doesn't allow you that freedom. 
And if you're single, I still kind of feel like a relationship is not the main focus on your mind. Maybe some of you are thinking about the past with the Six of Cups. And the connection there could be that a person that you were previously with was easy or it was so relaxing. It felt like being with a friend, a best friend, but still having that love and sexual connection, hopefully. King of Wands. Well, some of you are thinking about someone. There was passion there. It was lighthearted. Again, it is, I think, relaxing, easy. You still felt like your own person. And I think there's some interest in potentially going back to that. Another side story, if you're in a relationship, though, you may want to change things or try to end how things are versus ending the relationship completely and kind of going back to the way things used to be. And maybe having that discussion with your partner, like, how do we get to the stage? We used to be like this. How do we get back there? That could be something that's coming up. 